What if the woman you love is on a waiting list to survive? She needs both lungs, Marty. We just gotta wait. I don't want to die. Time is running out. What if they can't find a donor? There's gonna be a donor. And the only way for her to live... Hello, Ms. Pullman. ...is for another to die. Would you like to go get a cup of coffee? I followed you, Marty. Is that what you think? What's your wife's name? Which life would you choose? I love you. Where are you? Where would you turn? Could have waited until I was dead. Before you started fucking around. Everything I'm doing is for you. How far would you go? If we don't find a donor soon, she won't be able to survive the surgery. This is way out of control. Stop it! What are you talking about? How did you get in here? I'm sorry, Gail. Oh, God, help me. Please help me! God help us both. Luke Perry. Life Breath. Releasing one micron. A deadly weapon. The experiment wasn't supposed to be happening. A rescue mission. Your team will attempt a mid-air entry of that plane. This should go without a hitch. A double cross. For an elite team of government agents. We're just a kinder, gentler special ops squad. Their mission has gone wrong. They need to know who set this up. I want some answers. And a deadly virus has fallen into the wrong hands. Now, an international arms dealer. He's cunning. He's a killer. We don't even know what he looks like. Controls the weapon. If the virus is contained, it's safe. What about direct contact? Don't ask. That controls the world. If we retrieved it once, we could do it again. If you fail, we'll come in and do what we can, but only if you drop the ball. Nice pep talk, boss. But there's one team. So, this is the Mac One team. He can't control. Where's the virus? Put the gun away. He suspects anything the game is over. Got him! Steve Gutenberg. Move! Sean Bean. Retrieve target and terminate subject. Calm Fjord. Fix the package and blow the house down. Tori Higginson. We got major electrical problems in here. Kim Coates. Stressful business we're in, isn't it? Airborne. Let's rock. I've been going through this thing about women. I just want to keep my distance right now. A deserted highway. A murder. What happened over here? Someone got killed. A good, clean job, whatever it was. What's that? What? There. Mysterious strangers. You know these people are illegals. We can't just leave them here. The girl might need help. And dangerous desires. Are you looking for me or for my sister? You border patrol boys better stick to your dog catcher. These are not dogs. She's not your sister. Who is she? He smuggled her across the border. I'll be your friend. In the middle of nowhere. I don't want to get involved right now. You know? Who says anything about getting involved? This is good for you. White guys? What would they be doing here? She's just a whore, man. Shut up! What's the matter with you? What do you think, she's an animal? The truth can be buried. This time tomorrow we'll be in L.A. No. If I stop you here, will that kill you? Perhaps. You Americans, you know nothing about these people. You think I come to arrest him? Looks like you found your boy. I come to kill him. Where are you from, boy? American. We got us a real poncho beta here. He's gonna kill us. I think you should get in the car and drive, Conto. But if you wish to die today, it's as good as they say. You got your badge and I got mine, but he's coming to my county. <clears throat> Seems this whole thing's been one big misunderstanding. You think I'm a killer, no? I want the girl. It's a cop. It all depends on how far you're willing to go. Scorpion Spring. New today, Bone Daddy, from Chicago's William Palmer. Is it a best-selling novel? Ah! 
or the diary of a madman. I think this is for you. No one touch it. Only one man knows for sure. Damn it. You started this. I know this man, and so do you. Some of your colleagues used to have problems with me. I called you Dr. Frankenstein. That is correct. You couldn't protect your own family. But now what? You want to give me advice? You know he fits the category. You got to be kidding. Think about it. You're talking about my son. None of the bones came from a cadaver. Which means? It means this is being done to him alive. What's he telling us? That will never catch him. What's she gonna think when I'm working and she's screaming? We're there. Right now. I know him. Holy shit. No! Rutger Howard. Bone Daddy. I don't hate men. I just don't trust them, that's all. It's a nice dress. What's that? A ring. You married? Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> she picks him up at a bar, spikes her drinks, lets her boyfriend in. They rip him off. I think he's dead. Let's just get out of here, all right? Give me your wallet. So what do you got for me? It's a young couple. My guess is it's a homicide. <laughs> She's bad. News, pal. Got a dead one. Here's the been operating as a team for some time. Get out of the car! People die out here, okay? This is just great. A nuclear testing site. Very private here. Do you think I killed him? Do you think I killed him? Why'd you tie her up? Was there some kind of sexual thing, was it? You're getting scared of her. You worried she might kill you. You never really know how you're gonna die. But you never really know, do you? Memory is a selection of images, some elusive, others printed indelibly on the brain. Daddy loves you so much. I know. We'll dance at every party. Each image is like a thread, each thread woven together to make a tapestry of intricate texture. When I first met Lewis, I said to myself, he's a healer, he'll take care of me. Do you still love her? Men fought each other for the privilege of speaking her name. And the tapestry tells a story. And to find out he's just a man. You're in trouble. They're really mad. Who, them? <laughs> they always mad. And the story is our past. I'll never forgive you if you drive him away. I'm not your damn prison. The summer I killed my father, I was ten years old. I saw Daddy. What? Daddy and Mrs. Moreau. That's a lie! What's wrong with her? Oh, she'll be all right. Have you told anyone? Because if you tell, I swear I'll do you all. You know I love my sister, but she's not unfamiliar with the inside of a mental hospital. Sunday, which one of your patients are you gonna see, Louis? What was wrong with that lady? Some illness hard to put a finger on. Not every night he's not working, I know he's not. She thinks I'm driving you away. She's a child, Rob. How do you kill someone with Rudy? I put his hair inside the wax coffin. Buried it in the graveyard. That's ridiculous. You want to face the dead. But you can't kill people with voodoo. Sometimes a soldier fall on his own sword. Yes. You speak to my wife for dead, and I will kill you. Oh, God. No! That girl. I hate you. Speak to her for dead or dead. Any other became a day he'd never forget. 
What's your name? <laughs> Is there something wrong? No, I'm fine. Where the rules have changed. She killed a man this morning. You're afraid of this strange woman in your house. I'd feel a lot better if I knew what the knife was about. There was some kind of stabbing or something at the metro. Which metro? The one near us? The dangers... Close your eyes. ...are heightened. Adam, are you there? She's a killer. You understand? You're afraid of me. Should I be? And nothing is what it seems. It's him. Tell me where she is. Who is this guy that he's so untouchable? Because it's not your business. Get the gun now, pal. I'm asking the question. Greg Sheffer, Alain de Fugero, Jürgen Rocknow. If you don't level with me, I can't help you. The fall. Firing a gun requires courage. 